Germany's support for the French troops in Mali could consist of in-flight refueling for French fighter jets. The government in Berlin is gradually extending its mission in the West African country. The initial plan was to contribute three Transall transport aircraft, but now Berlin is also sending paramedics and soldiers to train Malian troops. The Bundeswehr will be taking part in the EU's upcoming training mission to help bolster Malian troops so they can be a stabilizing factor in the country. That is a significant contribution. So far, only France has put boots on the ground in the conflict. Together with the Malian army, French troops succeeded in pushing back advancing Islamist militants. Now that the country's cities have been secured, France is eager to withdraw as soon as possible. But the Malian army isn't yet strong enough to cope by itself. The EU is therefore planning to deploy 500 troops in a training mission. Forty of them are expected to be German. But the experience in Afghanistan has taught the international community that it's important that the African forces are able to stabilize the country independently. We need African ownership. That means African autonomy in Mali, first of all. It therefore makes sense to start with improving the Malian army's capabilities, including equipment. Apparently, for the 5,000 soldiers, there aren't even enough rifles to go around. So, obviously, they are going to have a tough time fighting radical militants. Africa expert Wolfram Locker believes that the Malian army is itself burdened with problems. This is an army that is internally split between supporters of the former president and those who ousted him. Moreover, this army is having to fight when it's in need of reform. That's a considerable threat to its chances of success. German Defense Minister Thomas de Metzier has warned that the mission in Mali could last several years. But Berlin is insistent that it will not send any combat troops. Most of Germany's politicians agree on the need for a political solution. A political solution also means a roadmap, a return to constitutional order, internal stability, and the economic and social involvement of both the south and the north of the country. Political marginalization has been a major contributing factor to the conflict. Despite the success of the recent military intervention, the country's problems are far from solved. Basically, the fight against Islamist rebels is a distraction from the real issue in northern Mali, which is a conflict between rival elites. This is a long-standing problem, and solving it will be much harder than subduing a handful of extremists. The situation in northern Mali remains unstable. If the government fails to bring the region under control once French troops have withdrawn, the likely consequence will be a rise in drug and human trafficking. If the situation is exacerbated by organized crime and terrorism, it could easily spill over into other countries in the Sahel. Sub-Saharan Africa is not so far from Europe as to be irrelevant, so we need to intervene. Germany was happy to leave the military intervention to France. But across the political spectrum, politicians here agree on the need to help stabilize the country. Somehow, 